The Dog Podcast. It's your host T Lee and my co-host Jack Cowden and we'll be live today as usual. Was pulling up there acting like they couldn't see me. Now she wanna clean me up like a squeegee. I told her that's on me, baby, like yellow BZ. With the peanut butter tear like a Reese. Keep on personal deal to all the obstacles. Get it done. That's the underdog. They don't forget the underdog when they see me. I hit them with the John Cena, they can't see me. You may overlook this person, but the underdog is the one who's going to put in the word. It's over, you know? Because you have to lose to win, whether you think losing is a big event. Out of mind. All I'm saying is be careful who you idolize. I'm kicking this scripture just before the bang. Ain't no cap in my words, I go against the grain. So I always believe in life. I took so many risks to make this thing happen. You know what I mean? I'm always working, bro. Like, uh, I just, like I said, I'm energy driven. The underdog can put you on your ass. The underdog can put you on game. The underdog can show you something that you didn't know. You can't go down. All you can do is go up. So are you going to stay where you at or are you going to move up? We are the bangers. <laughs> Little bangers. <laughs> He said he's nervous. This is his first time doing it. Hey, 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 Yo, yo, with the do good people, man. Welcome to the Underdog Podcast. We back, man. We live again, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Got a very special episode, man. Another one from the hometown, man. West Atlanta, Florida, man. We got Deuce Deuce in the building. Deuce Deuce 407. You feel me? Underdog, before we bring him in, man, we got to bring him in the right way, man. For real, for real. I like the levels on them. Levels good? Levels good? Yeah, we're going to keep all that. <laughs> This was for the trailblazers. Yeah. If I don't give him a voice, who gonna give him a voice though? You know what I'm saying? One time from Dog in the chain gang too. Chain gang is what time it is. I come from the first generation ever to blossom. Sipping orange juice, chasing gin straight out the bottle. Don't look around, they don't make them like that no more. A little nigga with his head up, but a heart so cold. And good thing I love gunshots. Cause every time I close my eyes, all I ever hear is pop, pop, pop. My whole life's been a move. Rest rewind, you see the pole and the stuff. Real players in my timeline. Real situations with real jars and real tricks. Real pimps walking down the strip. <laughs> Stand on the block, the dope boys in ball caps. Trailblazing the paper, chasing the same thing. Hustle harder than everybody to maintain. And if you never got it, you just won't get it. You never had to do it, you never had to live it. Just a product of the trail dog. And I ain't trying to hide the fact that I was raised to blaze and chase. Yeah, y'all, y'all some callers underdog. Cause we ain't expected to be in. I guess the odds of the kisses again. I'm just a product of the trail dog. And I ain't trying to hide the fact that I was raised to blaze and chase. Some call us underdogs, cause we expected to be in. I guess the odds are against us again. I'm just a product of the trail trail. With the product for sale, product for child, but you probably can tell. My mama taught me my B's and Q's and how to sell. But the streets taught me Q's and P's and how to play them. Learn the most of the fiend. Now I know this how to play them. Learn the least of my friends. The hustlers know what I'm saying. Hot times, summer in the city. Yep. A nigga on the grind, getting down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. Running on the trail since a itty bitty kitty. Yeah. Now I'm floating down state road, fifty getting shitty. Got uh-huh. my eyes on the mirror, looking out for the Leo. Oh, I'm coming with my VOs back to the CO, and I ain't tryna GO. Back behind the fence, if it came to them turns, then right. it's court right then. I'm the judge and the jury, the wrath and the fury, and I don't sugarcoat it. I'ma give it to you clearly. Just the product of the trail, dog, and I ain't trying to hide. The fact that I was raised to blaze and chase mail, y'all, some call us underdogs. Cause we ain't expected to be in. I guess the odds are really against us again. And I'm just a product of the trail, dog. And I was raised to blaze and chase mail, y'all, some call us underdogs. Cause we ain't expected to be in. I guess the odds are against us again. I'm just a product of the trail, dog. And I ain't trying to hide the fact that I was raised to blaze and chase mail, dog. Some call us underdogs. Cause we ain't expected to be in. I guess the odds are against us again. I'm just a product of the trail dog And I ain't trying to hide the fact that I was raised to blaze the chase Hell y'all, something called us underdog Cause we expected to be in, I guess the odds of the gifts is a key Come on 
Yeah, man. Deuce, deuce, four, seven, man. This is season four, episode two. Make it happening, man. Future of Orlando's on. You feel me? Entrepreneur, recording artist, deuce, deuce, owner of Bow Power Photography, Bow Power Graphic Arts, man. You feel me? Real spirit. We're gonna bring the home in right now, man. Yo, yo, yo. yo what yo. to do, homie? What's, What's that, up, bro? Yes, sir. Good to see you. I ain't nothing, man. Appreciate you tapping in with us, dog. Locking in, man. Had to make sure we get it in and give you flowers, dog. Real spill, under dog. I appreciate it, man. I, us I, to I, win. <laughs> I can't imagine. I never thought that uh 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 when that when that came out because the original title, you know, what I'm saying before we I switched it to Trailblazer was Underdog, yep. and you see that's how I had it on the in your hood. So it's like it's on every platform. So take yep. what you want from it, cut it up, man. Add it to the show, bro. It's yours, up, man. Do what you want. Nah, with. I like that, dog. You feel yeah. me? Underdog ain't yeah. expected to yeah. win. I when I seen it, I say, man, I like, let me hear what's going on. I heard the song, but then I seen yeah. the title. It was like Underdog. Like, oh, yo, yo, yeah, my dog Tito did the beat. Uh, Tito Beats did the beat on, on IG. So I mean, he good. I know we we try. We all about placement. So let's do it, man. Mm -hmm. Underdogs, you know, Real stand up. We here. Man. Like I say, brother, we appreciate you locking in, giving you time, Thank man. You. As we push the importance of knowing ourselves in 30 seconds, who is Deuce Deuce as a person outside his artistry? Man, I like to say, man, I'm a self-proclaimed 5G. I'm a, I'm a gold-getting, godly gangster gentleman. You know, straight up. And I make sure that I try to go, you know, I devil to peas, you know what I'm saying? I try to plan my work, work the plan. I try to go out of every day, every desire. Everything I do, I do with passion. So if you see me doing it, it's a passion, not a job. Real spear, man. So... Where's Deuce Deuce at spiritually as a man right now? Man, I you know, I, I feel like everything that happens is uh is God's will, my hands. That's it, you know. Mount on the top of the mountain when it comes to the spirit, I believe that everything he you know brought me from so many places. I ain't recognized the first three times, but this last time, all I see is his grace for everything he ever did. So spiritually, I'm where I need to be, and I feel like that's the reason why everything is happening how it's happening. I don't, I don't say finally. I, I feel like he's been looking, waiting for me to get ready. So, spiritually, yeah. I'm, I'm where I need to be. Already, man. So, from Orlando, Florida, you know what I mean? From the Born west side, you know what I mean? Being a native of Orlando, for those who never visited, like, what are some of your go-to spots in the city? Either to hang out or to grab something to eat? Man, uh, uh, the other day, man, I pulled up to, I pulled up to, uh, to the shrimp, man, 20 minutes too early. And yeah. uh, that was my number one choice. So I was like, man, am I going to go to Chico, sir? Do I want yeah. Washington Shores Fish Market? You know, uh, churches used to be on there, but they judged me so much and they finally closed it. So, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's a few places. I like to say a couple home cooked places. I really, really, yeah. I really enjoy the food and the catering from Rock's Barbecue. You know what I'm saying? That He got his own cook. He got his own grill and he's doing his own thing. So I really enjoyed that. You know what I mean? So. That, that that's why I, that's my go-to's there when it comes to food in the city whatnot already man. crab legs everywhere now nah. <laughs> real <laughs> might find them on the sidewalk and all man juicy so, this juicy that mr mrs sloppy crabs whatever <laughs> anyway. so anyway. man so what side to be exactly from and from your perspective what was it like for you growing up in the city so i'm born and raised uh uh in crosstown you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. I was born at Orange Memorial, and my family, we all grew up on 20th Street. We was uh, little mixed kids. We didn't know what we were. We just know that we was too light-skinned to be black, and we was too light, uh, uh, too dark to be white. So, you know, we just, we, we gave them hell. We were young. We didn't know we was unicorns back then, but we, we were just, you know, trying to be niggas in the hood like everybody else. But we grew up on uh, 20th Street, Paramo. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like I say, I went to Grand Avenue, went to Memorial jones and then wind up in trouble and then went to boom so just that's always been the neighborhood uh i still love cross out of my heart running up and down the trail since itty bitty kitty it's, it's mm -hmm. a real story my music real story so i always try to tell people to know more about me yeah you just go listen to the music it, it tells my it's my life yes Definitely. yeah man yes, and then like you know from your point of view if you would like to share from your experiences as our platform you know is dedicated to the youth you know like what advice could you, you know, give to them as if, you know, you was to have a conversation with a younger youth? My first thing I would say is pick up a book because they're going to hide all the information 
that you would never find yourself in a book. And then I would say, you know, sir, don't you, pick up the autobiography of Malcolm X because it's it's not just going to speak on race. It's going to speak on division and then inclusion and then trying to bring it together and then division again. It's going to explain what the world is about in a, in a whole form. And then, you know, just from there, just continue to read love languages, read every type of book, whether they're Indian, whether they're, I don't care what the author looks like. Try to read the book before you look up the author. That's what I would tell my youth, you know, educate, educate and educate and do everything you do with the passion. And just that, that's what I would tell them, you know. Real spill, man, because you also did a bit at an early age in the midst of your trials and tribulations, like, you know, give the younger viewers a reality of, of what's real when it comes to the streets, you know, like, like as a young man, you know, like, what are some of the ways you learn, you know, to navigate you know, that to navigate a young king through these environments to not become a product of it. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's two things. It's about paradise or prison. You have to make that decision. And I, and, and the decision I made when I was young was my paradise, my, all the things I wanted, the things when I was wilding. And that got me into getting into wanting to go, Oh, I'm so uh, untouchable and, and invisible that I'm gonna go rob these banks. I'm gonna make all this money. And it was just the devil's playground. It made it so much fun that I just kept doing it. I never made the decision to imprison myself in books and in school to have paradise in the future. I did it backwards. But that what I would tell you is you can you can make a decision now if, you know, uh, uh, when I go to college, what I want to study and how I want to do it. You can start living like that now. I started as a young man. I was before my time. I worked. I went to work with my mother. And, you know, I, I, I made my own money. I had real jobs. So running the street, I can't say made sense. It was just fun. Yeah. So I would say, don't choose fun. Don't choose paradise. Try to imprison yourself within the right things first. Then you'll end up on the right side of paradise. Free. Yeah. You ain't got to pay no time. You feel me? Pay yourself. Yep. You know what I mean? So who would you say, you know, help mold you into the man you are today? Like so, who or what? It, yeah, what? <laughs> it's funny because I, I couldn't say I couldn't say a a man in general. There was yeah. different men. There was uh, correctional officers. There was brothers who I did time right next to me, uh, who was honest with me. But I would say the per what what molded me the most had to have been uh, my grandmother, and you know, yeah. just overall, uh, she always had she always made me look at myself more than just street level normal she always made me feel like i was a g and i operated she always made me look at myself consciously i should say yeah the only person ever that made me conscious of myself when i was around her so that made me step a certain way so that form that when i when i started you know whether it was business or music in prison or coming up through all of that i tried mm -hmm. to move like a g because i knew if i just moved smooth you know like like sunny taught c you know that was me and her yeah yep that real man so it was in your youth, you know, you were inspired by the icon. I don't call him no legend, man. Two parts of cut. You know what I mean? Scarface when it comes to music, like, you know, what are your top three favorite songs from them two artists and why? So uh I'm 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 a cheat and put on and put on Scarface. <laughs> so smile would be three from Scarface. Yeah. Two would be uh, money and the power, and then uh, one would be uh, diary of a madman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. It, it, I, that the diary of a madman described my teenage years. Yeah, I grew up learning that that was my life, hearing it. Yeah, and then Tupac, when it comes to Pac, three. Yeah. Three would be life goes on. Yeah. Okay then. Two 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 would be whew, boy, I had to push one off the list for this one. So yeah. two would <laughs> so two would have to be dear mama. It's just I mean, that's not a cliche, like for real, bro. Like even mm -hmm. the worst. I don't care what they say about mom. You know, my mom, she wasn't no dopey. My mother had alcohol, but I love my mama through it all. And you couldn't say nothing about Tina. You still can't. Yeah. So yeah. And then number one, death around the corner. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're in a better it. verse. 
and no music than that third verse. That's what inspired probably most of my flow when it came to that chop chop. He was just da, 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 yeah. he was just so repetitive with energy. Yeah. <laughs> he said so much with energy. He didn't need ad libs. Yeah, real spill, man. I I, I, say I call Parker Icon, man, because it's like the legend talk, man. Icon, this man been going how long? And his music still hit. Like, it's energy. You feel me? Like, yeah, I feel it I, every time. I was time. blessed to stand on the block in Las Vegas. We went to Las Vegas out there when yeah. I got married. And me and my shawty walked out to Flamingo and Koval where he yeah. had got shot. And I spit a verse out there, that death around the corner verse. Yeah. Man, the goosebumps on me now. Since yeah. you said pop, but even about that situation. Just standing yeah. out there knowing, like, man, this way, this way he rested at, or or still standing spitting, you know what I'm saying? But he out there with the Sammies and the rat pack and all them and happy. So I think, yeah, icon is it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably travel to Scarfaces, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, without anything happening to uh Brad, definitely. That's that yeah. man. He shaped me. I, I was 12 years old spitting money in the power, got in trouble a little more. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. My kids don't listen to nothing worse than that. <laughs> man, for real. Nah, it's definitely, man. Cause like, you know, even with the change in hip hop, man, speaking of while we on music, man, like how you feel about the transition knowing it, how where it came from, like where it was to where it said not. Nah, like, I mean, I respect the playground, is you know, it's gonna be mm -hmm. new, it's everything ain't gonna stay the same, but as you go from Stuff that would hit you to where it's like as fast as out the way. Like it's either gonna hit then, but you got it, it, it. It's the I think the objective is to make something that's relatable from the soul, and then like it's gonna be timeless too, bro. When everybody here, like that's how I feel, bro. Like if I'm gonna drop something, it gotta be something that can come back on again. Like I don't want to be think, on no. I just think they. I think hip hop. I think hip hop is returning to its roots, whether people want want to admit it or not. Right, yeah. so I have an opinion about what it sounds like and what certain things sound like, but that's that's the changing of the dial. We couldn't yeah. change the dial back in the days. You had to wait on the jukebox network for the song you didn't like, so you yeah. listen to it. So we, when we was young in hip hop, we sounded just like Run DMC. We rapped just like such such. Everything sounded the same. Mm -hmm. It sound it was fun. It was different, and it was something that the parents said, "I don't like you listening to that." Straight that's up. what it, that's what it is not right. So that's yeah. what kids are doing. It's fun. They do it, bro. When they say, "Oh, these kids dancing in their music," bro, I, I I'm from Florida, man. I swear, man, we yeah. used to be in the background throwing that dick in the back. Of the dick. Like, oh, <laughs> we, it was you. They might have shown Luke dancers, but there was dude dancers too. So it was like. It, dancing always been a thing, you know what I'm saying? Florida yeah. inspired that for a lot of people. They went up to Atlanta yeah. and everywhere. So it's they like when it comes to how that. they're doing it, hey. I just don't think that I don't. I just what I'm saying is I don't. I don't agree with the tell on yourself music. That thing. part I was just about to say that. I, I, if I could say anything to him, I'd be like, I would say two things. It, like for every you know shoot 'em up records, I would open up Can and Will Be records. Like Can and Will Be, it'd be the lawyer would run the label. Like mm -hmm. you know Can and Will Be court of law, right? Okay, go ahead. Like I would <laughs> just read him his rights before the track come on. Yeah. So he'd be like, yeah. So then show fake guns, like maybe show the disclaimer on the gun. Like yeah. show just one before the <laughs> before the video came on. Young people put the disclaimer on the bottom of the screen. Tiny print. Yeah. It could be itty bitty 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 bitty, but that's why they call it tiny print. It ain't gonna be not tiny mind. Yeah, it don't matter where it said it could be on a shirt label or whatever. It's on there. You feel me? But listen, I swear, man, it, it, it's anybody can do music. You can do anything you want with it now. And mm -hmm. it's like I had a lot of stuff on CDs back in the days. I was I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back on streaming. And if they gonna make music, and everybody gonna die off. I might as well try to make some music that's gonna be around. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so that's why I was like, you know, let me just continue to make mine. My kids, my family, inspire mine to keep going because I I'd rather you know my two year old daughter. Wake up in the morning and go, Daddy, I want yeah. Chain Gang. And she better listen to Chain Gang. So yeah. at least she ain't listening to, you know what I'm saying, something else that's going to yeah. make her go to school and the, and the school going to call me and tell her my child mm -hmm. ain't doing this, right? I just, I, I ain't got no problem with how they do it. Opinions don't make me judgmental. Yeah. Music got to change. But I just think hip-hop, where it was at, they said the same thing about N.W.A. Uh, when they yeah. started talking about killing and shooting. Yeah. But, but it was only a problem when they started talking about LAPD. Yeah, killing the people. police. Like, I yeah. think these, that's what that what that was just going to lead to. It's so I think it's okay if these jits want to talk about killing each other. I get it. Y'all don't want to at least once say them two. I ain't, I don't want to leave nobody still or nothing. I'm just saying 
you got to turn like don't just always point the gun at yourself like we came off we came off ships we our ancestors carried us through a lot a lot of smart a lot of brave people when bullets got shot from our people we had to do that to protect ourselves up and through our roots literally so to just watching our young men killing themselves in their generations before they even uh, before they even old enough that's where i lead back to saying pick up that book because man they're kings these are young kings dying before mm -hmm. they even protect themselves they're killing just to kill that's not even protection yeah legal guns legal, that's even worse some of them going to jail and they're getting out for the charge. they're like yeah i had just bought this from walmart he ran up on me i said something on TikTok. he came over i shot him yeah you can get off with that but that i don't think that's something to rap about like it's crazy and dudes yeah, and dudes going through real charges right now for that shit, bro real yeah, so hip -hop is just, i'm okay with where it's at I, i'm cool with i think that they just you know i can turn my dial i'm good you know yeah, I listen yeah. to a lot of reggae anyway and R and B when I'm other time I listen to Frank Sinatra. Yeah, bro, that's the thing too. But R and B <laughs> kind of died out, bro. Like, that, that, can, can we just can we just like put a small second? I don't want to put too much on it, but golly, what happened? I don't know, bro. See, some shit. like some of them just walking around, like you know, back in the days, like Bobby Brown was right there with all the killers, but he was in the back, like can like I'm gonna get my bag and go home, yeah. and like. But there ain't all of them killers now. Not one of them want a thing. That's dangerous. <laughs> or, or even like the ladies in their presence, like they're like, it's every video you got all your boys. It's cool to have my dogs with me, you know what I mean? But sometimes mm -hmm. I need to have that feminine energy around, you know what I mean? You, like, listen, I man, don't nobody, don't no nobody gonna give you a more open, uh, uh honest opinion than a female about what you got going. Kids, yeah. kids, kids, kids is probably worse. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Kids yeah, gonna tell yeah. you if you're fat or if you shouldn't wear that. They're gonna look at you stupid. But mm -hmm. when a female who is for your best interest mm -hmm. and on the opposite end, a female who hate who don't care nothing about you, gonna always tell you everything about you. And you should most men should listen. Dude, you be like, bro, what you think about this outfit? Yes, that man. Tight. That <laughs> tight. Listen, that, that that can mean anything. That can mean he like it or I don't yeah. care, bro. You mm, nigga, whatever. That be tight. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. She's gonna be like, I don't know. It's kind of, it's not. That's where we going today. We're not. Why you wearing that? Like, you know, you get honest with folks in there. So at least you know you got that. But the music, there ain't, yeah. there ain't. I don't see no. There ain't no, no R and B groups I listen to right now that I can say just came out. You got Bruno Mars and them going back to the seventies because they yeah, they done the skipped shit. over the nineties like. I gotta stay. I gotta stick with the nineties, man. It was so. Bro, they redoing song like that's what I'm saying. So it's like yeah. you know. I, 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 you know, back in the days, I wish I would discovered my voice because I'd, man, can you imagine making a song with four bars and you right back to the hook? <laughs> <laughs> Real spill, bro. I, one it day I just, I just looked at the lyrics, uh, looking at you know, so like even the R. Kelly song, I was like, and uh, looking at the lyrics, probably the worst thing I ever said. I was like, I hope they ain't look at these in court. But when I looked at yeah. the lyrics, I'm like, it wasn't a long, he just said a lot in a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. you know? But they, you don't need a lot when you can sing. So it's like, now. I still listen to like the jagged edges and the yeah, yeah. and that kind of puts us in the realm with the groups now but there ain't no they try to make super groups but i, I if, if i had a chance if i heard somebody sing a well i think the difference is soup uh rb groups always been a record label thing mm -hmm. where rec, rec, there ain't no record the record labels dead now it's now it's streams even the labels control yeah. the stream yeah, so with that being said, it's like back in the days they was like, "Yo, you're selling pretty good, but we're gonna put Johnny Gill in New Edition because <laughs> you know, but such such having a tough time. Ralph want to be solo or whatever, you know. But now them niggas got a tour all this time. Now they gotta be on the stage, out of breath, still touring together just to try to make <laughs> life back together. So it's like them labels put them dudes together without thinking about their life. So I just think I don't know, unless they cousins or family, maybe I don't think yeah. R&B ever gonna be the same because. Labels don't need their their stars together no more. Yeah, bro, it, it definitely so. changed a lot, man. Like, For sure. it's like once I don't know, cause like you say with the dancing and stuff with Atlanta, Atlanta came with all the dancing too at one time. I think he was slowly weeding off then. I mean, you had Sierra doing her thing. They just was changing it. It was more up tempo. It really wasn't no. Yeah. I just I, they was man, they were making fun of us for a long time, man. I, I ain't never yeah. gonna forget, man. They we was called it was y'all Bamas, y'all Florida. They made fun of us down here. <laughs> yeah. And I just it, that it wasn't feminine just to say, but the girl, even to this day, bro, I, 
I'm not gonna sit there and just stand behind my lady and against the wall like that. Well, I got a hole in the wall sometimes when she got a hand. But yeah. for the most part, if you I, I tell her, if you turn towards me, I, I can keep up with you. Don't you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just that yeah. extra stuff. I can I can I can, I can move on and I'm good. But not yeah. them dudes don't do that, man. Dudes be in the club staring at each other like I'm gonna kill somebody. Bro. <laughs> dog, me and my dogs were talking about that, bro. That same <laughs> night we went out to beach them, bro. I'm talking about we on the top floor looking down. We like everybody just standing looking at the stage, bro. Like my dog was like, bro, they like zombies and uh bro, just standing there. Everybody just huddled together just looking at the stage, bro. Bro, listen, brother, <laughs> I, I be feeling so bad, like with like the concerts be over there when they have them at the beach and, and, and big stars come because the chicks get pushed out by the bar and the dude, the few dudes who like it, they're going to stand up front and be hype as hell. Can't no mm. female go up there because they're going to get hit. They're going to get elbowed. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, you got to, yeah. It, it, it's tough, man. Orlando's a tough, uh, it's a tough crowd always. But guilt, guilt's yeah. like that too. They be looking down on them and I'm like, you know, you got to, I don't know. I ain't never, I used to have fun. I actually, we working yeah, on, bro. we working on a film at Shop Me Dog Shop. You know what I'm saying? One of the films we working yeah. on is, is about, you know, these kids in the, in the summer uh, of 1985, man. Oh they, man, they, they walking down the railroad track picking up cans, yeah. and then they pick up this newspaper. And on the newspaper, yeah. still Orlando's getting this uh, 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 skating rink slash uh, 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 dance club for for the mm. teens called uh, uh, um, Fantastic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it, it, it's just about the summer '85. That's just hard. Trying to, the That's boys hard. getting their first kiss. Boys yeah, going to dance and we y'all bringing back the, the the real deal, showing right. like right. how it used to be, like because you know the kids mm-hmm. that growing up at the social. Well, we not standing the... on the wall. Well, we, uh. listen, what I'm saying is, like, so you know, like now nowadays, dudes be like, "Oh man, you you went to the club, like yeah, boy, I threw a thousand bands at them." Man, mm-hmm. I remember it was a time dude just went back to school and went, "Hey, boy." Like, have a little grind. Like, I grinded like, that. Right. Once yeah. you grind in your mind, we got married. We got four kids. Like, it was different. Yeah. We're going to play it mash and get bro. the mansion, the house. Me and you. It was crazy. Yeah. So it's like, man, it ain't like that no yeah, more. So we want no to take it back to that. We want to take it back and pick a number. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. The, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. My kids told me the up. other day, right? My Straight kids up. told me the other day, they said, Daddy, pick a number. They did the thing. They were like, pick a color. Straight up. Pick a number. Yeah. Yo, I remember doing that. You went down a rabbit hole of yeah. bad stuff. Pick that a gonna number. That's going to be a hit, bro. Yeah. I ain't but, seen nobody middle, else. You open it up, and it was like, meet me in the closet. It was bad back then. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. no, we're going to bring it back. It's, yeah. And I got, I, got a, uh, I got a few uh, clippings from then, from the yeah. walls of the... When we got fantastic stuff when they first mm-hmm. opened the farm machine, we got real real stuff from the newspaper. So we got stuff that's gonna you know just base it on that. But just that's to bring it back to when we had fun and yeah. the, you know, just the stuff you hear on the radio, I think you know, we're gonna better have fun with that. So if there's any R and B artists out there that want to get involved in that, let them tap yeah. in because I wanna do a oldest if if you know Bruno Mars and them doing the 70s thing, then maybe we got some boys in the city who wanna do some 80s thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got writers. We got writers. We got great artists right here among yeah. the city. Anybody tap in? I'm open. Man, to I was gonna say, man, for real, be on the lookout for that, man. You yep. feel me? Yep. And also shout the chop and y'all, man, for the winging it, man. I would tap in with that, man. Man, but yeah, man how, how the how the relationship with you and Chop came about too, man? Like how you get got into the the movies and all that because you got the photography going, but I see you doing. Well, your because thing it's there. a movie. <laughs> because the movie, that I I can say this. I met Chop on a rooftop and he was whooping a nigga ass for me. Yeah. As a film, a film that we got. Yeah. Coming out, shout out to OUC Films, my nigga Rough. Uh, levels will be oh, out. Later films, this year. Yeah, <laughs> levels will be out. And and um, we was on there. And I, one of my parts where I go on the rooftop, they kind of, you know, my henchmen, mm-hmm. him and three, where they renting, they henting the dude up and whatnot. So after the part and whatnot, we were sent to the side. We just went to kind of talking. And that's when I guess the funny part is we probably should have met 23 years ago, most likely, yeah. but we just yeah. never. God just made sure it was ready because when we mm-hmm. got together, man, it's been a spontaneous combustion of energy and work. We, yep. We've worked, we've worked on now on four or five uh, houses, projects, painting, mm-hmm. and while we're there all day, we're talking movies nonstop. So it's like it came about on a rooftop on a movie set. God's will, my hands again, and then same thing with brothers. We like the same person. Most while we sit there talking, we, we like the same person. Even early this morning, way early this morning, we both. He texts me. I'm texting him back and forth. It's like 7, 30, 8 o'clock. He's like, what you doing? I'm like, I'm writing. He's like, I'm writing this. Yeah. Man, we need yeah. to do this here. And it's like, 
that that that's what I need. I can't do Sunday morning calling me talking about man, let's go hang and smoke. That was the young me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now my energy and, and yeah. moving forward. So that's meat and chop was one of the best things that's ever happened. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to bro. And then with him and Maker and being with Rum Jungle, the Rum Jungle's next. We just did the Bowers Pop Photography, did the behind the scenes yeah. shoot footage for that. And we got to watch the film, private viewing. Rum Jungle's gonna be good. So shout oh, out man. to Maker Films as well. You know what I'm saying? Right there with, with Chop and, and Loud Gang. So I mean, I'm 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 just privileged to be among because I'm be honest with you, man. I have never walked up to them dudes, say, here's a hundred dollars, here's two hundred dollars. They never just said that to me, you know, like I've had to work with other people. God yeah. sent them and vice versa. This it's all it's all energy. I haven't sat there and be like, here you go, man. We're gonna all this million dollars had been no promises. We just enjoy each other's company. Being child, I've been able to sit down really well and speak about so many different projects. We have a vision that matches up well. You know, even, even regardless of what I got going on, a million projects, we find the time to still talk about the common yeah. ground of work. I love it. Man. I love working with that guy, man. Yo, man, it sound like the Penny and Shaq duo, man. For real. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, definitely. Oh, man. that and, yeah. we, and we will be the, the what to come, not the what yeah. if, definitely. I, I love up. it. I love it, yep. That's yeah, man. So at, at what age, man, did your interest in music began to grow? Like when you started writing your rhymes and freestyling, man. What what oh, was that I thought? I started freestyling. I started freestyling when I was like 12. Yeah. I had bar, you know, shout out to Bartel Bartel. They used to be at the fairgrounds. My brother them passed me a mic one time, and that was it. When that mic hit my hand, everything yeah. paused. I, I probably paused for a second, but I just took off. I never had yeah. a pause in me. And then uh, I started writing. And then I went away. I went away at 15, 16, yeah. on up to I was 20-something. So all that writing on the chain gang, I just started writing. And the love grew when uh, my other fellas up the road with me who was still doing time and came home, they would uh, just tell me, man, you know, you, you could run a whole click of this shit, man. So it was like I started the mafioso chain gang thing up the road. Yeah. That's when I started believing. Before I ever came home, I used to rock whole compounds. So it's like I, I I knew then if I can come home and and get people to be energized with my energy that that's what I'd be able to do and I can do that with with two people in the room or a thousand don't make me know straight up man man for real one thing about it bro I, I'm an artist too you feel me before the podcast thing even started but like I'm a big fan of hip hop and music so me I'm a good listener you know what I mean so one thing I noticed as soon as I turn your stuff on you got a original sound bro. I'm only looking for the original sound. Like you say, you might be influenced by another artist or something. Like I've been, everybody's been influenced by somebody you know, listen to, but it's when you find your sound, you feel me? Like today's time, bro, like you say, a lot of these jits be just rapping the same old, you know, same one too. Like, man, ain't nothing different. I ain't even, I, don't, I probably might ain't hear no, no, uh, believable situation going on i might hear no like nothing to take from the song i just hear y'all saying the same thing like you have you to know. take from you don't think of you think about it, they just they just said they're celebrating de la soul like crazy now with the streams de la soul perfect yeah. example i i remember de la soul because i used to go oh the dudes that said plug one plug two plug three okay mm -hmm. and then i go back i just told show shout out to show who shot in your hood the trailblazer video yeah yeah video. we gonna we gonna we gonna get that, that on that too, show, he, he uh you know i was just telling him bro i said you know uh i want to shoot a video that was that smooth like big daddy Kane. so mm -hmm. it's like i remember if you said dancing mc hammer heavy d you still yep. say it's like even though hip-hop was the same back then people differentiated themselves a lot of people sound the same. Like I like future. I listen to some future. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. probably don't listen to the words no more. To be honest to you, yeah. I love that rhythm. He or he know yeah, how to rock yeah. that rhythm. That or he got going on. Yeah. I probably I started tuning out T Pain a long time ago. I tune out Lil Baby, but mm -hmm. they got the rhythm. They got it. They gonna yeah. be remembered. That's but, that's what it is, right? Though that Katie. Right. Yeah. Oh man, I man, I you can say you can sell me a, you can sell me. A, Man, Michael Jackson got us for years, bro. Michael got us for years. I thought he was saying, I'm going to tell you, Michael. I did not know he was saying, I'm going to say, I'm going to say again, I'm not going to stop. He had us all thinking he was just humming, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to And we was lying to ourselves because we swear he was saying that. Dabba dee, dabba die, right? Nope. Ain't right. I think that, you know, rhythmatic, bro, is, is that's one thing. But that's. After a while, that's demonic of your own self if you want to sell that. I like difference. I want the story to be the story. 
I want my kid, when my kids to hear the story, I want them to pause it and go. So that's why you was gone them two years? Man, because that's the only way I know how to get it out. That's the only way I know how to talk about it is in the music. I stopped. You know, people always say you got to talk about it and get it out. I stopped talking about it a long time ago. I stopped recording. I was still writing, but I stopped recording because I wasn't around. I was into everything else, thinking I was a good dope boy, thinking I was a good this and that. It didn't work like that. You know what I mean? Being able to just go in that booth and be free and now free my mind. That's, mm -hmm. man, that's that's the therapy now. And I don't think that's what people use music for, and that's the difference. They still have suppressed anger and energy in them, and that's what's detrimental to their own health. I don't, I don't recommend that at all. Yeah, Yo, you gotta that's find the out. Good. You know, what I mean, some way you can find it out. You know, I exercise. Have to, you know, to. doing music. How you had these conversations? That's why we created this platform, man, to sit down and give y'all y'all flowers. You feel me? Because. You know, it, everybody deserves their flower, but when you got a story to tell, you feel me? Like, your story is going to inspire other folk, bro. You feel me? If they either going down that same path you went down, they might be at that chapter you was at, bro. But then for them to see where you at right now, they're going to be like, man, it ain't as bad as I was. You know, I just got to wait my turn. You feel me? Brother, or, there's letters. There's letters coming home. There's letters that come to me now. There's phone calls, dudes three-way from their wives. Uh, there's yeah. a country, sing country singer that's a about 10 months away from coming home one of my boys doing 30 up the road told him without me even knowing he was like man, i don't care what you do when you go home call this guy when that man called me that man called me like i was like i was on interscope somewhere like i was like i was russell simmons he was like no you my boy told me no matter what you let me sing for you hold on i was like but hold on he was like no 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 real quick i ain't got much time and i was like go ahead and then I got his letter. He told me how he was inspired by this. He was like, man, you're a chain gang. You're still doing it all these years, but you're still doing it. Da, da, da. And I was like, that's when I went to realize, wait a minute, I got a purpose here. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I got a reason to do this here. And then the last time felon thing popped in my mind, getting out and staying out. I, it, inmates, it, you know, you have VAs, you have people with mental health, you have alcoholics and drug mm -hmm. addicts. A lot of times fellas have nowhere to turn to uh, uh, with a revolving door. You, you can second class citizen, black, white, it don't matter. We kick them right by the door and go, okay, you're a felon. That's it. You're done. You can be a felon from having a small bag of cocaine in your pocket from the 80s. And right now, you get caught with a gun, you're done the rest mm -hmm. of your life. There is a problem within a lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, uh, there's a good uh, FFRC, the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition. Desmond, me and them, you know, they're, they're doing the right thing. That's what I want to get behind my music to have that purpose. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna talk about what I've been through, my life, you know, uh, only my conviction, you know, and 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 things like that, and just tell the truth. The movies will do that. Most yeah. of the songs I put out is on streaming, so it's ready when we place in these movies. You're gonna start hearing this stuff in movies a little yeah. bit of time. Like I underdog, chop it where you need it, or I get it wherever you need, it, put it where you want it. But my it's my welcome because underdog and underdog match up. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. real. And I'm I here find for and you ain't just a podcast. I noticed y'all. I just want to say that for the people. You ain't just a party. It's true. I know you're an artist. I know you appreciate us because of how I met you at the event for the Spades Tournament. Yeah, you know, y'all yeah, you, yeah. you, was in the corner with the podcast, but y'all wasn't shooting while people was performing. Y'all was there for the artists. Only an artist that been an artist would be there for the artists. And that's yeah. how you know the difference, not just saying we're important too. Yeah, nah. uh, give me $200. <laughs> you said, bro, come to this corner yeah, and we're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? This and that yeah. and that. And that that was that was, I, I sat back and watched that. I was there shooting, I was there uh helping judge the game and then also part of the filming we was doing. So yeah. I could I didn't get involved, I didn't want to take no one's space, but I watched and I was like, I'm gonna hit brother up for a one-on-one -on -one because yeah, I wanna put these platforms together. The underdogs, yeah, underdogs need Real to sphere. get together on ourselves because nobody's will. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a reason why people win millions of dollars placing their ticket a year before the Super Bowl. The day after the Super Bowl, you can put a ticket on that Super Bowl's winner, and that's the best odds for the lowest amount of money. Yeah. Underdog. Risk, yeah. Nah, you, I, don't make, you don't make no money off betting yeah. off the winner. Damn. Come on, man. Come on, baby. <laughs> Cool, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. You got to bet on the underdog, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, my, uh, 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 what is it? March Madness built on underdogs and Cinderellas. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Real spirit, bro. Life, man. So I'm all about when I seen y'all. When you said underdog, 
I got goosebumps for the spirit and all that and just yeah. questions and everything is perfect. You know what I'm saying? I this is an energy and a platform we're gonna hold tight. I like this. Yeah, so man, we, we gotta, gotta keep it right running. Thing, bro. Like you said, bro, like as us being artists, but it's like I ain't even expect to even get up there and, and work the move to be an artist. My dog was like, bro, like, bro, we can still cause I think I was gonna try to sign up there, like, bro, the slide side. Then dog was like, he just asked, he asked Twine, he was like, man. Bro, was like, ask the DJ, and then we just all of a sudden ended up up there. I wasn't intending to do that, bro. It was just like, it's like I said, we were definitely. That's a good thing, though. You got to be multi-talented. You got to be a Swiss Army knife, man. Yeah. You got to be. You got to be. You have to be multi-talented yeah. and do multiple things. It's important. Yeah. You know, I learned to be behind the camera. I, I always loved being part of the camera. I mm -hmm. used to have a camera a long time ago. I never got one again. I used to always remember how expensive it was. And I was like, once I do it again, I want to commit to it. Man, I picked up a camera a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, "Oh man!" And I was it. I was like, "I'm gonna stay right there." And yeah. I, I enjoy photography. I enjoy capturing people's moments and then telling yeah. them, "See how you look when you're happy." Yeah, that's it. That's Bowers Power Photography: lights, cameras, satisfaction. That's the that's the T of that part. So it's like where you're at with it the same way, bro. You a platform for to rise up the same people and just say, "Hey, let me just give you attention real quick." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember yeah, the, yeah. the video soul? We don't we don't got TRL no more. We don't got nah. those platform where they play the mu music videos. Yeah. We used to run home from school just to say who's the top ten. Straight up. Every day. <laughs> Straight Even up. if it was gonna be Bow Wow. <laughs> I'm talking about looking at the TV guy, bro. Why the time the time one of the things that going across. <laughs> yeah, I, I you know, I, I think that the more I think that the more that we ourselves, you know, divide our own music it, and we are while we're at it i just want to address this we got the only genre of music where we have an age where we think where we say it's yeah. an age on doing it every man mick jagger is still going across the stage somewhere 90 years old or 80 or whatever maybe got the moves was, still music, music lives on forever man. music, music is, is time. time and so when when there, there's people out there very talented in Orlando and all over who not doing their music and who have done their music who don't think they should be doing it, and they should be doing it. Yeah. Very talented people who yeah. just won't just go record one song and put it out there. You never know. It, it, it ain't the same as before. Putting CDs out and what we did, putting CDs out before, it yeah. ain't the same no more. This ain't uh -huh. your demo can be one song. Straight up, you can get it the ain't stuff the on same. Audi get platform. up, do it, put a marshmallow yeah. on your head and call yourself Marshmallow Man too, and you'll get plays after the other Marshmallow guy. I don't know, it, man, man. Mm -hmm. it's so many, it's so many uh outlets right now, man. The no, song you might have been holding on for maybe three, four years ago, you just might pop it back out. Ain't I tell my dog all the time, ain't nothing old till everybody heard it. <laughs> Man, I got songs that ain't nobody ever, 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 ever heard. But I got family members that hear it and go, oh, I remember that song. That song, oh, huh. You still doing that song? Hmm. What? It don't make no sense. And and, and I took some of those songs and went, oh, yeah, you right. That don't make, that makes no sense. And then there's some people, you go play that song from a stranger. Play some of yeah. those songs from a stranger. And yeah. they'll go, oh, my God, Dang. you should be on some radios. And then all of a sudden, here comes this confidence again. Yeah. So it's like if that's a sign of take, get away from the people who you comfortable with. And shout out to my nigga Wood. He he put on my thing and say he say some people don't care if they see do successful. I love Nate. And he, he mentioned me by my personal name, and that meant a lot. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I support you because I love Nate, not do. And that's yeah. the difference. Sometimes just supporting the person just for the well-being and saying that's that's what it is. I love supporting local things, I love supporting everything, I love my city. I remember when Orlando was an orange grove, and a lot of people don't know that. They fighting over orange grove <laughs> and sinkholes. Yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, for real. That's really what it's about, man. Like, yeah. just right what we doing right here, man, uplifting each other, bro. That's why the first thing I think I said, bro, I said, man, how you know how hard it is for some folk to be like, man, you doing that shit, bro. Like, you really, like, I see what you doing, bro. Like, you know, just it. give the give the flowers on the spot, like. You know, with our people, we got to start doing that mode, bro. You feel me? And start letting, like, other situations validate us, bro. Like, wait on that. We should already be doing this with each other, like, on the inside. You feel me? Inside. You got to want it for real, bro. You got to. I listen to motivational people probably, probably out of the, I don't know how many extra hours we awake during the day. Probably yeah. about a good 
50% of that I'm listening to motivational people telling me their failures and how they come out and tell me how not to lick my own wounds too long. Yeah. And I work hard on purpose. I love the people I love on purpose. I work the way I work. I have the passion on purpose. Purpose, man. Purpose. You know, it, yeah. it, it, it's everything. If you find purpose and the passion and things, it's a wrap. I think me and my wife were just discussing yesterday about purpose, uh, projects and passion and, and the process and all those things. It's important. And that's where it comes in at like the, you know, with the pictures, I really love doing that with the movies, both sides love doing it with my music. I know for sure I, I, it's been in my soul for a long time and it used to sway like a jailhouse rock compound where the officers used to stop and listen. And, yeah. and, and the may I'd have had a major walk out and testament to BCI, one of the hardest prisons there is. I'd have had the major Maldonado walk out there and go, y'all just take a knee. We're going to listen to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? While we beating on tables, anybody else, Years before and years after, they'd be like, "Man, get up, stop beating them tables before you get locked up." Yeah, they they let us they let us rain them things like we were beating on drums. You know I'm talking about yeah. like drum line, bro, in the dorms on bunks. The officer be like, "Y'all just y'all go ahead and do it." If they was in the mm -hmm. dorm with me, or if they said we mafioso chain gang, you know, deuce, the officer be like, "All right," because they work all the same dorm. Okay, all right, you good? And then sometimes the officer be like, "I'm gonna let y'all go to the other dorms and go over there and do music together." Yeah, that's unheard of in prisons. You see what I'm saying? They let us do it, bro, because it's just the respect of how we move. Mm -hmm. We move, we move like a unit. We did it for a reason. And that's what Chain Gang is now. I can't, I can't stop that because that's who I did it for. That's yep. why I gotta keep doing it for every day. Locked same in. purpose. Yep, same purpose, same drive as Chain Gang, everything. Just and with yep. that being said, that means the bed made right. That means you know the uniform class say you gotta get right every day and be right. I still wake up with the sweet sun off the side, walk my frame. Yeah. Step out the shower with my shoes and my slides. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got to be uh, everything. You got to be accountable. Your surroundings, all that, all that matter. Mm -hmm. It matters. A lot of people walking around unaccustomed to uh, systematic of the moment, just being in the right way. They think it's normal to wake up and say, "Man, I got to be to work and work for this corporate office." Your manager don't own it for a yeah. corporate office. Someone who not even there. You got to be there under certain situations. Mess up three times, we're gonna let you go in a matter of a year, no matter what. <laughs> that's not normal. You don't have to. That's not normal operations. Everybody has a number. That company has EIN. So does your Social Security. You a company. Just got to yep. get busy. Once I seen that, I said, I'm going to open up another one. They like, they like Skittles to me. I'm like, what? I can do another. Until you become active, you can open as many LLCs as you want to. Then you start putting money into each one you want to. But you can name them, claim them, domain them. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Dead serious, bro. That's what it's about. Yeah. We start building each other up yeah. slowly and start that brotherhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Men start opening doors and holding doors for women again. Just be normal. Shivery. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just normal. Gotta, stuff. We just gotta value each other way more. You feel me? Like, yeah. like you say with the you know, down some music entertainment, like it's showing us how to disrespect each other. Everybody know how to do that all day. We're gonna be like, I'm gonna slide in the well or it didn't even still it like Damn, bro, just know how to either talk down the situation or, or just pull somebody aside and, you know, they everybody they know chops. how to... They lick their chops when they get another one. All of them. It. it don't got to be Diddy. It don't got to be the Lekka Executive. As soon as them boys come in there, all them big record executives, as soon as them boys come in there with that stuff and they like, yeah. that's the next one, the A&R bring them in. It yeah, don't even... They, yeah, they there's not one. There's not one CEO out there walking around listening mm. for the next nobody, mm. okay? It's an a and &R who's like, I'm going to get a cut off him. And if I bring him to master, master <laughs> going to pet me yeah. and love me. That's just the clear cut truth for that when it comes yeah. to how they run labels. Who the next streaming guy? He already, they're already doing everything for themselves now before they show up. Yeah. They already got sales. They already got the most plays. And, you know, with that being said, you can put a couple thousand dollars into your plays, fake fans. Sell yourself fake and then get up there and they'll take any song and sell it. They'll play anything. But that doesn't give it a heart. That doesn't give it what it needs. To, you know what I'm saying? That when you wake up one day and your kid's playing that song and you like, cut it off. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a few. I guarantee you, Jay-Z kids cannot play Hawaiian Sophie. Mm. I guarantee not one of his kids can play that song in the house. He's going to be like, yo, who gave you that? Well, I, I done bought the rights and threw that song away. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like certain ones you can't never let back out. And that's, that's now they'll just let anything come out. Yeah, so okay, even if they talking about killers. And at the end of the day, 
you know, shout out to a couple movies we got coming out in progress. Yeah, that's what the devil want. That's what the devil want. The devil, the devil advocates all of this. So it's spiritual. When you said earlier, the spirit that I have, I yeah. think that's the part where uh, maybe a lot of people think when you put spirit and God and you say that, I, you have to be on your knees every day, holy thou this and that. Mm -hmm. That's been that's been confused too over time. You have to give your mind, your spirit, and everything to the Lord every single day, no matter what you do. If you don't think the Lord done got half them bullets they ain't hit you, then you don't understand grace. Right. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah. He got he got to be part of everything. You know what I'm saying? And then then he'll you'll start to understand just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If you have misplaced your keys before and your phone, then you must understand what God goes through daily when He try to find us where we put us. <laughs> hey, you snout that, yeah. <laughs> Real. You know, I'm just trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to. I'm, I want to be where he put me. I want to yeah. be where he want me to do. I, you know what I'm saying? I, he, I, at no point in deeds can you do that by just sitting there every day. Just I'm gonna do everything perfect and look at mm -hmm. everybody bad. You got to get down in the trenches. You got to get down here with people and say I'm a sinner too. Yeah, I'm doing bad. I'm a. I might curse tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna roll up some cush. That ain't blasphemy. I'm getting my mind right. He say, "Come as you are. Whatever sit you down, boy." That part. But don't yeah. take them pills that that man telling you you're supposed to have. Yeah. That's all yeah. I'm trying to say. So it's like I'm just trying to be natural as possible and just the right energy, bro. You know, I start I start trying to consume all that heavy liquor. You know what I'm saying? Well, mm -hmm. I, I tell dudes all the time, you drink Hennessy? What's the name of the dude that own it? As long yeah. as you can say that, you can drink it. Yeah. Okay? I, I, You know why? I, I, I drink, I, me and my lady, we go out. She know what I like. I like Bella. You know why I like Bella? Rick Raw. I know, mm. I know a guy who got some money. Yeah. I told him some things. I like him. I'm gonna put money in the stake of those I like. That's about it. And I love yeah. the champagne in this. Two cups of Bella, you gonna sit your head down. You do not need yeah. four bottles of Hennessy. Yeah. Have you a couple of cups of that there, and you are gonna be like, "Ooh, this is not." Better yet, get have some with your old lady, and you'll see the difference between her and Hennessy. Yeah. You know I, ain't, I, mean? just, I ain't gonna lie too. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I said it. I said it before, bro. I said, bro, the way they smoking weed now nah, different too, bro. Cause, bro, you shouldn't be smoking no bad wood full of eight grams just to. <laughs> I like, bro. That's why I know I'm. I, I was from a different. I can't time taste period. it. I don't even tell. I don't. I smoke. I, I like my paper, and I will sit there. I be in the middle of a crowd, and I will pack me in my little bowl, my little pipe. Yeah. Because, and I tell it, but listen, you take take all that out that blood. And just try to pack this bowl four or five times back to back and keep smoking this little pipe of pure just the weed. Just clean the bowl, clean it like Cypress Hill say, clean the screen, make it clean, and just smoke that little piece pipe like the Indians. <laughs> you gonna visualize that three thousand blood. You gonna be you don't need that. Just yeah, one man. little one little thing, a joint. Just you know your head right. But man, they be uh, them big old bag full of weed. I be like that's why I be saying it ain't the same no more. Back, yeah, back in the day you know, when. <laughs> When me was going around out there way back, bro, it was hitting way harder than what they're trying to roll. Man, I, I mess with my dog. I love my, I got a few dogs who love their backwood, but man, I feel like we smoking tree bark. I can't, yeah. I, it's, it's, it's like soggy tree bark. It ain't, when you get it, like the, sometimes the cherry might be sticking out. That might be ash. No, that's just the end of the leaf. It's because they roll, how they roll it crooked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just, nope. I like, I like uh the cones. Cause yeah, ain't nobody yeah, licking yeah. all over it. Yeah, <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know like, I know there's a blunt. blunt. Listen, when COVID came out, right? Listen, I'm gonna tell a true story real quick. When, when COVID came out, right? I went. I had, and for a moment, I thought about all the nasty shit that happened in my life, right? That I, ah, uh, bro. And the one thing that popped up was all them niggas that 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 rolled blunt like this. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and then and then top that bitch off back to back and then light it. He burnt the spit and incinerated into it, and we smoked it. You ain't lying, bro. <laughs> to this day, if somebody fixed the thing at the end, I go, I'm good. I'm I'm high. Yeah, I'm high as a motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we good. I thought about that. That was the one thing I went to. I didn't have a problem washing my hands growing up. We did that, but I was like, "Damn, I let these niggas just COVID nineteen these blunts my whole life." Yeah, like, yeah. I definitely yeah. quit. Bl I definitely quit blunts with COVID. That that helped me. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If I hit, if I hit a backwood, you know what I'm saying? I got that. I got that suppressor on it. 
putting that yeah. finger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got them back with extra weight. Yeah, look, that be three thousand times. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I I like I like to smoke just you know real top shelf premium stuff mm -hmm. and just just put it in a little bowl. I'm good with it. You ain't got to grind it too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta do too much. I'm good, but I can't now. And then it's it's better stuff. It's better than it's ever been. Back in the days, you needed a bad wood full of that 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 regular and that yeah, and that yeah. zona or whatever. <laughs> back then, you couldn't play with zona like that either. Zona you could, could bro. Zona had yeah, you you could. Out, so you I don't could, understand bro. if they smoking loud. You know what I'm saying? Why they? Why so much? Uh, yeah, hey. that's what I'm saying. It's that that yeah you know, that thing. I eat. That's what if I'm I, like, bro. I smoke a joint. I smoke a joint. I gotta eat. I don't know something wrong with me. That I, be, like, I get bro. hunger. I get hunger. I think it's because it, and then a lot of times I think. These young folks out there, they got to learn how to understand the different. It's a medicine. So, yeah, it's cool. It, 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 it get high, but don't get too high. Indi there's <laughs> indicas for when you want to chill and later you want to go to sleep. Don't smoke indica if you about to go to the club and you're going to stand in the corner and <laughs> gone. They don't understand what smoking is. If you just smoke you some, some sour diesel, which is a sativa. I used to smoke a whole ounce of sour diesel within a week. Now I yeah. realize that's because you're all that energy all night smoking a sativa. Yeah. You see? Now I know what a sativa is. I didn't I thought something I got yeah, something I in the burn. <laughs> yeah, I ain't know what no, I mean? the sativa in the cave. It was just bro, roll that up, bro. bro <laughs> I didn't know that. But I did bro have this shit now that I smoke. Well, I, I remember when I when the first time I got some pineapple express. Oh, yeah. And I was yeah, calling yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah. bro. That that is a sativa. It is a sativa hybrid. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? And then when it comes to say it's medicine. You got to have the ratio CBD to heal. I heal my wrist from a break. Oh, yeah. Pure CBD. You, yeah. So if you use it right, it is a medicine. If you do it right, they'll give it to us no matter what, recreational, but we got to rationalize and do things the right way. Yeah, yeah, CBD do bring it down, bro. I'm, I got two going up at Edible, bro, by mistake. <laughs> I had, I had, I, bro, I was rolling them, the CBD back, back, back bro, dropping them and shit. <laughs> like, Listen, no, bit, they'll, they'll get you. And then they got, now they got the little, they got the little syringes. That's good. So it's like, it's good for you. Yeah. Tooth and all those things. So I, I, all those things, they help me personally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that hemp definitely is something. I would just, I said, don't just, do it and go to the club. Yeah. yeah. No, no, you're not even gonna hear the music. Yeah, that, maybe that's what it is. That's what the music is now. They just stand there, don't matter what the dudes listening to. You know what I'm saying? They don't care if 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 little uh Mac 10 on stage dancing, snapping his fingers, looking like mm -hmm. the devil. They just stand there so high they like I was at that concert, boy. That bit with Lady. <laughs> All right, they don't care. For real man. Damn. Man, so let's talk. Let's talk about man. You got the PTSD ish EP soon to release on four uh, days. What's the day? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's on the way. Ten now, days, maybe eleven to wake up. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, this project. How long it took you to put that together, man? Oh, and talk God. about where the concept came from. Let's talk about the project, man. I ne I never, never, never realized until I think my old lady said it one day, and it hit me that it's been said to me and so many people. She said you might have PTSD. I always, I, when I hit it, I went, I ain't no soldier. I ain't none of that. I didn't realize anybody yeah. go through a traumatizing situation for a long period of time. You know, that's that. And I can, I can point to just one situation where I did a long period of time that it, it, it traumatized what you just see. So, yeah. So that's where, that's where it came from. Uh, I sat there one day and I'm like, damn, I might have that. Yeah. And that's what I was like, well, I don't got it all the time. So I'm, I'm kind of PTSD ish. Yeah. And I was like, you know, but if I start talking about it, I can bring recognition. Then if I bring recognition, they'll start talking about it. maybe somebody can get a check. Maybe fellas can come home and get a second chance if we can get a check more than a hundred dollars in a bus ticket to who gives a fuck. Yeah. That's where I was going. So it's like with the song and that's where it inspired me. I want to be honest with the lyrics and what they talk about. I have skits on there automatically with the officers, how they, you know, how they speak and how they mm -hmm. are. The songs are true and what I'm talking about, I ain't hiding it. And that's just the beginning of a genre I hope to bring called Chain Gang Blues. Bring back yep. blues music, but Chain Gang style. Just yep. beating on simple walls. Whole got a movie based on it. Yep. Like a like a like a uh, uh musical, but that that's yeah. behind PTSD ish. But yeah, that's where the album will be out at 4 1. No April's Fools. I don't celebrate that. Real spell. Now that's hard, man. Like how you just stacking everything together. You know that what they call it, or they call it talent stacking, bro. So it's like your hey, artist. You know, incorporating with the movies, 
Like it's like a brand all in one, like under one umbrella. So they all feed off each other. Yes, sir. I've been told for a long time, man, pick something, pick something, pick something. And I used to always think those were the most blessings coming at me. So when people trying to direct me, then I realized the whole time it was God telling me, nope, get ready to stack them. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? The ones that tell me, go do them all. You ain't mm -hmm. got to. It was me telling me I when I go to bed, it's me telling me to go to bed. No one tells me when to go to sleep. No one tells me what to do with my life. Yeah. You see what I'm so I get out there now. I realize I can do all these things and bring them together and do them with the passion. That that's a big deal to me. I, I want to be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's it's God, God's timing. God's timing. Yeah, yep. that's what it's success for then, because all of them just feeding off each other. You know what I mean? Now ain't like you're doing one thing, they don't go in the recipe, all that make the, you know what I mean? It make the ending, you know what I mean? It put everything together. They have to. Growth, you know what I mean? Um, so which track is the single off the project right now you push? So off this project, that's where, that's where, that's what I'm looking at was the most important one because this, vi this next video I'm looking at doing it's a combination of which one I, I'm thinking about taking it back to, you know, kind of split the video down the middle, half and half. Yeah. So it's a combination of the two songs. But I think if I wanted to go party, because it, it has these directions. We in prison. We in prison together in this in this mm -hmm. album. So instead of, and with the single, you're going to go on a wave. So from the very first, first song, uh, no money, no problems. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You in the prison. But you have no problems because you know, money ain't no money in that. Can't nobody put no clothes. Nobody got better clothes than you. Can't nobody right. judge you. Can't nobody do. We got no money, no problem. We in here. We in the chain gang. So from the beginning, I'm gonna push the first single, the first song on the album, track one. No money, no problems. It comes straight on like that. No intro. The second one, Insomniac. That's just for niggas who can't sleep at night. Yeah. Okay. You know when the red lights come on, niggas wake up. You know, so you got you really have people in that's nocturnal. You know what I'm saying? And then they just come behind and I have a song for every type of vibe of people of what they're going through. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, so that's where we at with the vibe of it. That's all. It just depends on, uh, on what they want to do. And then, of course, uh, Florida Boy. Florida Boy is on here. And, and, and shout out to PK. That song right there is going to be special. Florida Boy yeah. is, is definitely going to be a special song. So we got a video from Florida Boy that's going to drop coming off the album. So it's gonna have the video, but lead single, man. I'm just gonna lead off with the number one song. No money, no problems. Yep. Money don't yes, money won't is. solve PTSD. That check, like I say, you know, uh, uh, never mind. I don't want that check. I just want somebody to listen and just maybe respect. That's yeah. it. Listen to man. it. Listen to them fellas when we come home. Man, off that project, man. What's one of your favorite bars? You said when you recorded the record, you was like, oh yeah, I snout with this. Uh, it was something that really touched through. the chorus, the chorus, the chorus to Rocky Rose. Yeah, the chorus to Rocky Rose say, Somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to get right. Papa want a brand new bag. I want that good life. I want the brakes off. No steering wheel, no headlights going downhill. Hands in the air, like we don't really care. Wave them side to side. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this our year. We running from the past, we stand on the gas. We're running through rock and roll, but they won't last. Yeah, for real hard times ain't gonna last, man. No, Straight they up. won't. My grandma told me tough times don't last, baby. Tough people do. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing, man. You feel me? What folk gotta realize, man, like it ain't you know people only tell one side of the story, but it's the it's the in between until you get to that success that matters the most. You feel me? Because you ain't give up. It be you know situation where you might feel like, man. I might want to try something different. I might want to just put, you know, start something else. But you got to stick to the plan. You know what I mean? I be I'm not like, speaking from the low percentage. I'm speaking from a high percentage. There's a lot of fathers and men that's in prison yeah. that I'm trying to speak for. I want them to have a voice so they look, they get looked at as normal. I got a couple of kids who don't understand when I went back that second time. They didn't look that daddy went away and left them. They don't understand the story of how it's easy to go to, to come out on probation and go back on a violation without a word and next year you know, you're behind on this 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 and then they tell you you can't you know it's very tricky so i want to be able to help with that hopefully through lyrics and music and movies to help those that's trying to direct that there's people of all races and creeds trying to get us felons uh just to be looked at normal again i was 15 16 when i lost all my rights yeah. and even all these years later 
those things are still looked at no matter what I try to do in certain situations, whether it's getting a house, it's on credit reports for certain things. It don't matter. It don't matter to the people because the people behind the counter can just be like, I was taught to overlook at that as bad. So I have to, I have to become a voice and a change within myself to change people in the system. It was spirit, man. Like you say, it's the, it's the purpose, man. You feel me? All I hear is your purpose right now. You know, Thank you. Sound like somebody that I already know what the mission is and, and what the end result will be. The vision, the, the 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 we was talking about lyrics. One of the lyrics on on one of the songs that's out that I just recorded. It yeah. says, you know, the the uh, the beats. The beats produce the rhythm. The rhythm produced the wisdom. The wisdom produced the venom. He knew that he had to get him. He knew that he had it in him. In prison, he had a vision. The vision is now the mission. You know what I'm saying? It's just, mm -hmm. now it's just back. And I tell everybody all the time, the vision is just now the mission. I'm just at the next stage of it, yeah. of, the, of the level. All So much Kobe Bryant said, when I get tired, that's when I'm working the hardest. When I'm making jumpers, when I'm tired as I can, mm -hmm. that's when it's hurting. That's when it's working. And then when I lose my right hand, shoot with the left. Yeah, you know <laughs> that's where up. I'm at with it. When I'm tired as I can, I wake up three, four in the morning. I write songs, then I go get them recorded. And I do them. I get them right out my thought process. I really write the songs down. I'm I'm learning the shot list. I'm doing the homework, uh, the classes, everything it takes to be the best of the best. So my my people can be the best. My brothers, my homeboys, the chops, the roughs, whatever they need from me, I can be better and great for them because they are already great. And that's what they need for me to be a great role player. I don't have to be the best mm -hmm. superstar. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm on a team of greats, and I just have to be great at my role. And I can do that. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, everybody got to play their position, man. You know That's it, mean? bro. Yep. So out of your catalog of music, which ones are your top favorites you recorded overall? So uh, the underdog song, Trailblazer, I wrote that song when I was so young ago. They're all songs that I wrote up the road without yeah. beats that I have now. All these beats came to be, so it's like uh, Trailblazer is special, predicated felon, the order that they're coming out. Um, and then now I got a song called Moment of Truth that's on 102.5 in Tampa with Roof yeah. the Truth. Shout out to Roof the Truth. She uses it as her intro song to her sports song radio show in Tampa. And then right behind that, uh, Florida Boy is so special because one, it's about Florida. Yeah. I wrote the original lyrics when I was younger and then my boy uh Chavez Ganjo up there wrote X Con. He had a song, he was original, his song Florida Boy, Complacy Order Boy. He had a song that was popping and then he wanted up catching that 30. So I just want to bring attention back to that original Florida Boy song he had in that energy and what yeah. bro was trying to bring. We still talk all the time when he called me. You know what I mean? And it's just that's that's where I'm going with my songs, you know, and then uh again Insomniac, the fifth song, Insomniac is just about for those who can't sleep. It was about the darkest place in my life, but I actually got to record it just talking about the pain. It's a one verse song. Yeah. It's a second song on, on uh, PTSD and it just talks about the pain that, I, that I'm going through and I've, I've been through in my life and where I'm at and with my mother and what triggered me to make the decision. I went from being a normal teenager to I'm finna rob these banks because I don't want to live how I'm living. Yeah. I don't, my mother my mother was was crying and she didn't she couldn't afford school clothes, certain things. From that day, I was like, I'll help you pay half the rent if just we don't live like this. And I made a decision at 14, 15 to help my mother and, and the way we was going to live. You know what I mean? This whole movie is based on that. Definitely, I definitely had a different mindset from these young friend, kids now. Yeah. I, got, I got up on my shit to handle mine, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Real spill, man. Yes, so so what's next after the EP? In the, you know, in the words, what's in the words? You know, after you drop PTSD is. What's so man, on? we got we got another. There's another. Just till TuneCore got thirty loaded up, waiting to drop. Yeah, I'm dropping them ten at a time. So you got this, and right behind this one's gonna be hard times and hard bottoms. Uh, mm -hmm. That one's gonna be a hard times and hard bottoms, and uh, they all got placements involved with them, and and so the soundtrack is like having a movie. They're all like watching a bunch of purple rains. They all have a trigger that come behind them. So behind yeah. that is is the um, hard times, the hard bottoms, and the behind that, 22 for life. They'll all come back to back to back. And then within that, the soundtracks, the songs I have for my brothers in these movies that we're working on. Me and Chuck got songs we're working on. My brother Ruff, I already know he's he going to probably hit me up about work within the soundtrack of levels. And then any other projects we have within the city, I'm going to have. But definitely that that's where I got working on within the music and the movies. 
Uh, yeah, man, definitely making moves out here, man, for real. All this motion, man, going on, man. Before we even talking to the photography and everything, man, definitely got to shout out to In Your Hood Performance, man. You know, thank you. Predicated felon, man. In your hood performance. West Orlando, man. Deuce, deuce. Man, this better be the last got that time we do this. I ain't got time for this. I'm only doing this shit because I'm on probation, bro. Come back, Paul. Thank you. Y'all ready, man? Shit over here. Hi. This is Dick Key. Man, who the hell is. Sorry. Hi. This is Dick Key. Dick, Dick, Dick. Hi, this is Dick Keith, reporting live from in yo. Is it your or yo? Sorry, reporting live from in yo hood. Feet together. <clears throat> Here we go. Act like you went to boom, not Jones. Hi, this is Dick Keith, reporting live from in yo. -hood. Where tough times don't last, tough people do. This track has been reported. This track has been. This track has been brought to you by Motion Picture and Tito Beats. Gunshots again? Show where you going. Man. Yeah, but had twenty dollar left in the bank, but had to save this. You can spit it at your oldest son for all day. My grandma told me tough times don't last. Maybe tough people do. So when the goings gets rough, baby, handle your stuff. Them hard times will make the soft man fold like clothes. That's two arms over chest to the heart explode. You don't need that kind of stress. Find a new loop. You done heard a lot of lies trying to seek the truth. There's a lot of fabrication in the knot, the boot. But how you know? Which is which until you find your groove That's just the way that I move I like Tolo You only die once, nigga Yodo, Yodo, Yodo That's a one-way lane They stay in the mind They got me 30 years in the game The lock in the chain It represents so much, man The joy and the pain The freak Ain't nobody checking for bruh He got post-traumatic What you call Uh, never mind He don't want that check he just wants somebody to listen and just made a respect through ambition of a predicated felon on a mission with the vision of an Elon. Prime time, Elon. That's what I be on. When I take all, I promise to never take my eyes off the ball. Now, can you open your eyes and see a man, not the felon? Visualize, he trying to change Nick a little in a matter of time to make the whole world listen to a predicated felon on a mission. Can you open your eyes and see a man not the fella? Visualize, he trying to change nigga level in a matter of time to make a whole predicated fella with the vision. If the new me can talk to the old me, I tell him, buy a shovel, dig a hole, G, for real. Among other things, like keep your head up. And after Robin comes prison, that's your head up. Take heed. I know what I know, I see some things that'll make a grown ass man cry in the beams up all night. But he ain't gonna sing just to have it all in jail. He'll do anything, anything. Anyway, stay out. Enjoy your freedom while you have it. Damn, all that clout. Don't put nothing by the gram on the gram or the book. Don't stab it. Don't chat it. Don't look. Come on. Dangle the hook. You're fishing through the mind of a crook. Never been shook. The coldest day ever I cook. But then he got hooked. They put him in a one man cell and left the devil. Six months, another story to tell. Now, can you open your eyes and see a man not a felon? Visualize, he trying to change, nigga, let him. It's a matter of time to make a whole world listen to a predicated felon with a bitch. Can you open your eyes and see a man not a felon? Visualize, he trying to change, nigga, let him. In a matter of time to make a whole world listen to a predicated felon with a bitch. Yeah. I ain't know. Dude, dude, four seven, man. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows my sorrows. Nobody cares if I ate today. They don't care if I eat tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude's 
do for us. <laughs> yeah, Slaughter. Red. Yeah, man, definitely. That's another one from the heart. It, 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 it feels fun. It feels all that there, but it's from the heart, and that's not easy mm -hmm. to get that vulnerability with it, boy. I swear. Yeah, I was listening to everything you were saying. It's like, it's one thing to hear a song, but then actually listen. You know what I mean? People can that's listen. That's all they got to do. Give yeah, it a chance. Yeah, listen. For real. Yeah. It's from the heart. It's, that, it's, a me, it's a message there to be said. Most people, mm -hmm. it's two different lenses. People going to watch that video no matter what they say. Yeah. Even if I even if I was one person, they're going to watch it from two different lenses and yeah. see left or the right. That's why I'm trying to get them to tell them, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just I'm trying to change. Nigga, let them. Like, you trying to see mm -hmm. one. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So Straight I want up. to give them both. It was important to give that on that platform. On that platform is where a lot, you know what I'm saying, young men go on there and they'll do their music. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, won't, they won't give their message. They'll just say, let me just go out there and do a song. I want the brothers on the same platform with bro. Show no. When I go on, I say, I'm going to try to make a video out there, be a video. So, bro, and the dudes on the same platform, be like, man, we're going to make a video out there, be a start being creative. Same thing. We all work together. That's what music is. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. That message, man. Yes, sir. It's tough. It's a real one. It's a real one, boy, because they, they forget. People, if people forget about fellas every day, family members and once you do something, they look at you like they're not thinking about that when they hang with their homeboy committing a crime. Once you cross that threshold of felon, the world going to drop you down below a level. You got to be ready for that when you come back. That's yeah. the fight you got to have every day. That's the that's the fight of all of them. Mm -hmm. Man, so let, let's talk about the entrepreneur side as a hustler. Like, my guy, you are the owner of Bowers Power Photography. Like, yes, sir. how did that come about for you to get behind the lens, though? Like... And I was just, I was I was uh working with a few things. It kind of all came together. Mm -hmm. I was working with a few friends who needed some pictures and also some some covers done for a film we was working on uh yeah. behind the scenes. And he was like, Man, I don't know why you don't just do it, bro. And just sometimes when people say that to me, I don't I don't play by spirit, you know. Yeah. I'm like, why you said that? I was just thinking about it the other day, and God yeah. jumping me. So, you know, I'll take an idea like that and then go buy all the equipment and go, well, now I'm here. Here I go. Because I know I know how to do it. I've always known how to use pictures. I've had music videos shot with my cameras in, in, the, in the late 2009, 2010, stuff like that. I yeah. had cameras then. So, you know, this ain't nothing new. I just, I didn't get back behind it for so long. I knew how to edit. I knew how to do things like that always. But I didn't get behind the camera until I finally picked up a camera. And I was yep. like, oh man, this is this feels good. Back at it. Now I was like, you know what? That was it. And then from there, uh, two or three friends was like, man, it's a good side hustle. And that I don't play by hustle. I'm like, yeah, Straight I like up. hustle. Yes, sir. Legit hustles. I only I don't like looking over my shoulder no more. I like having sometimes people don't understand what side hustle mean. Yeah. In the world of being an adult and having children, <laughs> side hustle mean ends. Ends ain't ends off of what we used to have. It ends mean. That's what the check is. This is my pocket money that I ain't got to get to nobody else. This is daddy's mm -hmm. money. So I hustle for daddy's money, whatever yep. I want to spend on. Daddy want to buy just a, if I want to buy 18 footballs and throw them to myself in the living room, that came from daddy's little side money. That's yep. all it is. It's nothing more than that. There's not side money, man. I need, football, buy them I need money to buy weed and, and liquor yep. and go to the club. Yep. Nope. I don't need rims. I don't need none of that. You know what I'm saying? My name alone stand enough weight. I don't have to buy that to prove that the the very pure point blank has just been able to be on point you know what i'm saying to have it do things the right way that's yeah. it be smart yep. really so when you when you jumped into the crowd like was it self-talk by just getting out in the field or you kind of studied the crowd so i'm a, i'm i'm big on before i get out there i'm gonna know what i'm talking about because i like to be respectful even when as uh my company as a painter i'm a, i have my paint company yeah. I, I went through my schooling as an apprentice. So I believe in becoming an apprentice. That's why I say the entrepreneurial apprentice. I believe in learning first everything. You know, I'll be that guy who, if I buy, if I get a company, you know for sure I know how to do everything in that company before I own a company. I'm just that guy. I like to learn everything. I'm a I'm a renaissance man. I, I read I read a million books. So by the time me and somebody have a conversation, I'm like, oh yeah, I read I read up on that. Um, the first time that I heard uh, a conversation online about director photography, I was like, let me look up what that is. And I read the description of that. And I said, 
wow, that's what I've been doing all this time. Let me study and just become that. You know, it'd be like a, it'd be like the neighborhood doctor lady. It'd be a no brainer the day she got her doctorate and became a doctor. Yeah. This is I, I've been studying. I've been working my whole life towards this. The camera, and f- I, I respect the front and the back end of it. So that's what I want. As like you, doing with the artist part on the podcast. You know the questions to ask them. You know you're you're in a mirror right now asking these questions yeah. with me. You're asking the questions you would want to ask about you, what you've been lacked, what you've lacked getting questions from people, and that's why that's what I want to do. What I do with, on my end, the same way photography. I want to give an artist a picture. That they just can't, man. We used to get pictures in front of a bat drop in a club, and that's it. I want to give an artist now a picture. When he take a picture, it's got the smoke. It's got the Bowers Power ain't just a normal photography. It's a, it's an image behind it. You know what I mean? They might get a picture, just like you right now with that bat drop. We we deliver mm-hmm. something like that to them. Whatever they want in the background, their logos. We want to give them that look, and affordable. That's the most yeah. important part. Affordable is everything. For real, for real, man. So between no, you were recently a part of the MC Rumble event hosted by Mad Deal. Like, how did that turn out? Like to be in oh, such man. a creative, you know, environment Ooh. with other artists. Amazing, amazing. Shout out to Mad Ills. Out uh, of me and a few a lot of a lot of other artists got came out there. I wasn't expecting what I seen. Again, when you think that the hip hop that you love and things that you've seen is gone, and yeah. then you go see it there, the Nash in Orlando. Anybody should, people should go visit that place. All the people were out there doing graffiti everywhere of all yeah. walks of life. Women, children, older, bigger, smaller, black, white, everything. Yeah. Break dance, the same thing. Every size and creed. There was an MC battle where I was able to judge the freestylers. I was actually oh, part hard. of the I was part of the group where the winner came out of the group. And not because I was any special of the judge, it was awarded me and the other judges. We were mm-hmm. when he was every time he was done with what he had going on, and shout out to the other great artists as well but when he was done we were looking at each other like well who else like yeah he was but he had a very he was very talented so i just appreciate ills looking at me as a artist in the city who's been around enough to understand hip-hop on that level to say he can judge what it sounds like as a freestyle yeah and them battling each other that's the part i respect the most because uh, I-, I was in prison when i read about matt ills uh, uh things like that and then and, and, and to come home and be among him and then call him my brother personally and be able to get him on speed dial and things like that means the world to me. That event was was really fun. I was in between two photo shoots. Rum yeah. Jungle, I'm sorry, Tampa with Roof the Truth. Then we did the, the Nash with that photo shoot. We went there and judged that. And then on mm-hmm. Sunday, we did the Rum Jungle, the movie private viewing behind the scenes. So love, love, I loved it. And then Monday, I went and painted something, I'm sure. So it's just fun, man purpose and passion yeah. and doing things that i want to do that's most, the most important part most definitely man so between music and being an entrepreneur what keeps you passionate what keeps you consistent to keep going yeah you know i mean how we were saying earlier like even my babies my babies man my babies looking at my babies yeah all of them uh on different levels so if i was talking about my oldest my son my oldest i want to prove to him that my this whole time me doing this mood music yeah ups downs going back in that it wasn't bullshit and that the stories are there if he listened my daughter right under her right under him for she to understand that she's stuck right there she's been right there too she's understood it the same thing but also as a father that i i i'm atoning to my mistakes as a man yeah and that's what a man should do yeah. so her to see that and then my other children on down to see they enjoy the music they look at me like I'm a superstar right Superhero. now. Superhero, yeah, straight you up. Saying? And it, 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 they look at me like, man. And then my two year old, when she, like I say, she wake up in the morning, bro. She don't wake up and and want to listen to cartoon. She jump on me and go, Daddy, Chang Gang. Straight up. Like, but nigga, first of all, like I'm the type of nigga used to be in the club, Chang Gang, nigga, like that. My two year old on my chest saying, Daddy, Chang Gang, nigga, that's yeah. an alarm clock for what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. Yeah. All right. What? Like, I don't even get a chance to think about throwing nothing. it right back at you. Yeah. Straight See? up. <laughs> so now you put that when you put that in that universe. Now you yeah. in that. Now you in an orbit. Now you in an orbit, and that's where you want to be. You gotta yeah. get. You gotta come one with that universe, and when you do that, now you get that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I was watching a movie recently with Terrence Howard. I can't remember what it was, but he was taking two coat hangers when he was talking yeah. to Oprah Winfrey, 
And he was like, when you get in unit, he got that voice. And then he said, me and you, yeah. we like such, such. But every once in a while, Mike, we get right into it, Mike. And then he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we become, we become one with the universe, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So it's like, I, I, I'm in orbit and, my, and, I, and I'm in a, and, and with, and with orbit being safe, bars, no pun, I'm in a good space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I feel also, man, you know, speaking like kids and all that, man, it's like when you're doing what you're doing, like they watching it, but it's like, I'm leaving on some behind too more as well. Like, you ain't, you know, like all the music, all the stuff you see me doing, everything, like, I, that's how I be looking at it too in a way. So it's like, man, I can't, can't stop. Cause you know, I'm- I want to have it. I told all of them, you know, my, my, my dad, my dad, my dad picked oranges. He, he didn't he didn't leave much when he left. I want my kids to have something. I I, I try to get on my family daily by hey man, yeah. this guy could be gone any day. You need to be ready. You know, yeah. my kids helped paint something yesterday for a neighborhood community with some graffiti. We went and painted over a wall. The kids helped with that. They understand oh, yeah. why they did it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A couple of them was running around playing around. I sat them down on the bench and made them watch. They did understand though. And then, you know, with the music, the same thing, hard work. They hear me record it, they listen to it. It's words and stories they can understand, you know. What one day they gonna go online and say, "Daddy, you robbed banks when you was a kid." I can go in there. I can say, "Listen to the music." It's gonna explain what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can do it with that music. I can explain it the right way because I wasn't just doing certain things a certain way. You know what I mean? When I was young selling dope at 12, 13, I wasn't doing that because I just wanted to be a wild boy selling drugs. Yeah. I really was trying to put food on the table. Yeah. That was a real thing. So, like, you know, and there's real, there's real niggas and real worlds and lots of real people who atone for the truth. So that's the part where I get to tell that story. I've been uh procrastinating on myself long enough in between. I let the everything else that kept happening to me going back and forth be the procrastination. So my mm -hmm. kids are my inspiration all the way through the whole thing to just keep on going. When I wake up in the morning, sunshine, her which is her name, she wakes up and wakes me up, my sunshine. She says, chain gang, you know? And then at night before I go to bed, I'm afraid to go to sleep after the person that's working harder than me, before the person that's working harder than me. So it's a fear of not being great. Yeah, really, so don't, 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 that's what drives me right there. I'm right in between those two things. I'm in that orbit. Yeah. Great, great space. Hey man, I'm learning. I'm learning that from here. How you breaking it down, man? That's real. Anytime, brother. Anytime, bro. I think it's important. Each one, teach one. Mm -hmm. I was not raised. I was not raised by any men. None. My mother, yeah. my grandmother, my aunt. My I had an uncle had a Cadillac. I don't. He wasn't really my uncle. And then uh, uh you know, my, I had another uncle who impersonated being a female, and I loved him to death. But that was his life. And you know what I'm saying? He 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 would even though he had great things he was involved in, he passed on from AIDS when he was young. And then other men that I went upon in my neighborhood was like, shit, boy, you know how to do that damn thing, boy. You want to do it? And I went and did it with him. So yeah. now that now that I my give back now is to get with brothers of yourself so we can be better men. And if yeah. I help better men be better men, they'll be better fathers. Better fathers can change young men and women, they'll change the world. Yeah, generational, real, man. not not generation, not generational wealth, generational mind health. Yeah, nah, for real, bro. You gotta yep. sharpen the mind to get the, the money. You yep. sharpen the mind, the money gonna come anyways. Like, yep, my nah, kids man. don't. My kid, my kids don't have. You know what I'm saying? The option, especially especially my children that's that's it have my blood pure and they have any black blood in them. Y'all ain't got an option. This life or death. Don't play yep. around. <laughs> you got to be for real because I've seen it. I've seen I've laid on that concrete wondering, am I going to get up young? So I don't I don't I don't want to see it happen to my children. That's my worst fear. And it's going to happen different to them, not me. So I always yeah. try to say, listen, this is what we can do to stay focused. You're not going to have a choice. This is how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, just instill those simple things. I think kids get up now and get on the phone and don't have to clean. Yeah. I think, you know, yeah. Just, just small things. I just think we have to just keep it still values. And I think we'll be fine. I want to do that through my music and the yeah. messages. And if I can get, and it, it goes both sides. I want to get good people to understand the chain gang side. I want the chain gang people to understand that they just misconfused. But because I'm I, I'm able to be that medium, I'm okay with that. 
I, I, I'm okay if I have to be that person to be the writer that's going to survive the apocalypse so I can write it on the wall, the hieroglyphics, the graphics, whatever it may be. I'm willing to take that. You know what I'm saying? I'll die in the battlefield as that reporter reporting on what we're going through. I'm not afraid to be out there with my people. I got niggas who know I can go in the trenches when I want to. I can go anywhere. Yeah. But I'm yeah. out there to tell a story. I got, we got, I'm inspired by Chop How we got, we got some real hood niggas in some movies who inspired to become actors. Like I got the acting bug. They want to learn this. They getting headshots. So yeah. now we get, we take, we making hood people do what they want to do. You can get in movies. You can be just as hood as Training Day and all them other hood movies. <laughs> right. You gotta take, I need you to come through this processing right yep. here to get you right back there. Yeah. That's all I, and the fact I can do that. I got niggas on both sides who trust me. And then I, there's a whole there's a whole group of whatever type of film directors and people in the world who don't accept us unless we're ready and packaged the right way. I want to have the package right way so we're accepted and we can have a check in Florida like California. It's it's possible. So it's mm -hmm. all for the it's all for the purpose driven of the mission moving right on up to the acting, writing movies and all those things I was doing when I was 16, 17. It's all for the for the movies. I love the music. I love putting my music out there. But I know if I do that, Chain Gang fellas will listen. Now I can talk to them. I know if I have the music that's soft enough about Chain Gang, but like Park and them did it, these people going to listen. Now I can get both of y'all in the middle. Now let me tell you what's wrong with all of us. Yeah, straight but up. But that worked for me because I grew up black and Italian, which is to some people black and white. Let me tell y'all what's wrong with all of us. So that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? That's what's most important. We have, we're losing the united part. And we're just worrying about the states, mm -hmm. you know, and that's yeah, what man. we need. That's all, all, all in one, bro. The division, bro, just come from, like I say, uh, I said on a couple of other, other episodes, you know, it's not just about guests too, but we also just inform on a lot of information, whether we read or looked up, you know, we just try to give people gems too, but all that white, black, you this, you that, like we all one, bro. If your skin, skin color the same as mine, we the same person. If like, you went to heaven tomorrow, if you went to heaven tomorrow and everybody in heaven was an alien, you seen one person close <laughs> to human, you gonna skit scatter to him. Hey, boy, what's up, boy? <laughs> what you, you ain't seen nobody else look like us? Like, you, <laughs> it won't even matter what they look like. I, yeah. I, I learned something a long time ago the jail system. It's like the GPS. You know, when you go up and it get bigger yeah. and it, it scroll out. So when you when you're in the detention center, you fight for your street. Okay. When you go to the county, you fight for your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. When you go to prison, you fight for your city. When you go to the feds, you fight for your state. Mm -hmm. When you go in the grave, hmm. fight over with. That's it. It's over with rich, poor, anything. It's over. Don't That's matter. It. So no. not all that stuff that, that it's the same thing. They just have to think, you know, it, we're all human beings. No. I love it. I love being able to say that, you know, I, and I've been a part of certain situations where people think that, you know, man, we have to do it that you don't have to. I remember growing up that <laughs> when we watched black cinema, that's all my uncle watched all day. Yeah. I'm a, I don't know if people understand that. I'm a nigga. To my soul, okay. I understand that. I grew up real nigga. That's what I'm saying. You don't understand that. You don't have to make every film all black. You don't have to make it all white. None of that. But then there was a time when we grew up that they gave us just one channel with yeah. cinema. Foxy yeah. Brown, this and that. <laughs> Our porn magazines had women with froze, unshaven. We just <laughs> had to accept certain things. We ain't gotta do that no more. We can make our cinema involved with everything. And then when we become black actors in any other type of genres films, we don't have to act their kind of hood yeah yeah all. i own but yeah. it just has to be there's a reason why you go in the movie needs be like man that ain't real how niggas really act <laughs> because we can't get y'all to act right so do it right we can really make a real film if you give the director the box that he needs within the frame of, and act it the right way just it, it, and that's what we that's what we trying to change up about the, the different movies that people make that's the difference yeah. the tubies it's just the way they acted and stuff like that because there's some good films that it's just the acting is, is bad. Not on the people's part, the teaching. Yeah. The teaching. You can easily say cut and say, hey, that's not right. Mm -hmm. There's an editor who let it go through at some point, so you just have to go back and just do those things. Don't race projects. Trust the process and just let it work with purpose. That's all. I believe that. For real, for real, man. So 
any recognition or shout outs you would like to give to those that been in your court of supporting you along the way? Absolutely, man. I mean, I shout out my wife, you know what I mean? My grandma, she's been right there the whole time. My kids, you know what I mean? Of course, I, I got my Lord, my Lord and my Savior. He's been right there even when I gave him no recognition. I ignored him, didn't want him, threw him under the rug. He didn't give up on me. God's grace is real, people. Even mm -hmm. for a wretch like me, thugged out. I thought that my crime, everything I did when I was young and wild and out, that never be forgiven. I feel like I don't even think about him no more. That's how much he cleansed my thought process. He is real. Every day you can reinvent yourself. So my God is most important. Underdog. Underdog to an underdog. That's most important. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you see films. Loud gang. Maker films. One of the most important people who inspired me out in a way I didn't get to mention is Donna for film. Uh, I, I follow her and watch a lot of things she does. I work with her a lot now. We get yeah. to speak. Sister, great, 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 smart person. Had a lot of films on Tubi. So I got to give her her flowers, most important. My Shout DJ, out. DJ Nisi D. She's always on 94.5. Always inspiring to me. And all my brothers out there, y'all know who y'all is, who right there in my corner all the time. You know what I mean? We don't give the naysayers no recognition. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. My brothers who I did City Beautiful with, Y'all boys out there, I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? They, we, we, we did our thing. You know what I'm saying? Cook, Sharp, all y'all. Appreciate y'all. City Beautiful on Tubi out there. I appreciate y'all. Everybody make way for these next movies. Levels, Rum Jungle, oh, yeah. Winging. All right, man. I was going to say, man. Also, man, what can we look out from the Bowers, Bowers Power brand? What's on the so, way? Man? We go, we go, we are, we are. In the process, overall, we have Bowels Power Management, which my wife overlooks for the children, movies, films. If you think your child is smart, you think your child can do it, you don't have to call the fake agencies. Give my wife a call, and she can just tell you a little bit about what it takes, and you just start to do the small things. We have films that's ready for that. That's Bowels Power. It's all days Bowels Power. So there's the photography, the graphics, and then from this point, I'm probably just looking to the other things. Everything Bowels Power, though. Yeah. We're going to move everything to the realty events and we'll move up into about power, like we'll coordinate outfits, but definitely photography and uh, video, helping with music videos and the photography part. The 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 senior pics is coming up right now. We got Easter. You can call mm -hmm. us for Easter pictures. We got specials on summer pictures. You got graduation pictures coming up. We can do graduation and senior pics at the same time. We can do groups. We can do best friend parties. We can do quinceañeras, nurseries. Uh, first picks for children, uh, single moms. If you have your children, give us a call. We will personally, for charity on our own selves, give you a free photo shoot for your child. Give us a call. You know what I mean? If you want to do a picture for family, we may have family members passing and you want some pictures with their hands or anything special to you, give us a call. We do those things for free on our behalf just to help the people. But that's that's what we're doing. That was up, man. I almost skipped it, man. But hey, it's 2023, man. What you claiming for yourself with everything you got going on? What you manifesting? You already saying it, it's gonna happen. It's already done. Oh man, yeah. I just said it yesterday. Me and Chop, me and Chop gonna put out one of the most funniest movies, but realest movies and best movies that anybody has ever put out. It has yeah. it's, it's amazing. Anybody who's ever heard an inkling of it have been like, ooh, green light. And I manifest that. I manifest that my spirit will bring me back to prison, but from through the gates the right way to go in and help with transition to coming home for inmates within the next five years. I'm on yeah. my way. I'm going to help y'all get better. I'm going to help y'all with education. I'm going to help y'all come home and feel normal from day one. Last time felon. Get out. Stay out. Already, man. That's big, man. But... Like I say, man, definitely glad you came on here to get your time, bro. Definitely Thank get you. your flowers, bro. Like everything in this conversation, man, from a man to another man, from an hundred dollar to hundred dollar, bro. Definitely appreciate the conversation, bro. You know what I mean? It was definitely enlightening to me. You know what I mean? Like energy is everything, bro. It's organic, yes, organic conversation, bro. You know what I mean? Yep. And don't look we can have it anytime. <laughs> we can have it anytime. I love it. Oh yeah, we locked in for sure, man. You know sure. what I mean? Like 
you know, just want to see you keep going greater, keep going up, bro. Thank you. Yeah, you know I mean, you. emotion already going, bro. It's just like you say, every the mind, the mentality you got right around it, bro. Like it, it's coming, bro. You know, yes, what I mean, it's definitely coming for you. You know, it's just the heart, man. It's the heart. The Lord, the Lord. He, he, he ain't said it's gonna be easy. He didn't say it's gonna take a couple of days, man. His twenty years to him ain't nothing. I will go another twenty now that I see what he what he done did up to this point. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah. oh, I'll do that again. Yeah. Cause now it feels good. Now knowing that I can go back, those three times where I lost everything and he brought me back, I'm like, now yeah. I remember how good it felt when you come out that mud when that hand first burst yeah. out. So that's what it's about, man. You know, you you, you yourself, you, the call today. I needed it. It felt good. The energy, everything. You know what I mean? It felt great. It felt great. Yeah. Everything is natural, man. You yourself, what you're doing. Shout out, like I said, it's very important. Understand you, your partner, everything that y'all do. You know what I mean, we got so many things coming out. Definitely, the world need to hear about y'all as well. I'll make sure I push y'all along, and then I got other friends who do good podcasts. Who I want to make sure y'all all unique with each other too. I read it, bro. For real, respect, For real. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got to get your flower, man. This dude's dude's man. Season four, episode two, make it happen. Last but not least, though, before we get out of here, man, what does the word underdog mean to you, or when you hear the word underdog? Underdog me, you better place your bets because that's where you're going to win the most of your money at. So don't be always looking at the winner if you're trying to have the largest amount of dental. I ain't know. Come on, man. For real, for real. Dudes do for us, man. Y'all make sure y'all look out for that PTSD is 4 1. Drop it April 1st, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Season 4, episode 2, making it happen, man. Get out of here. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Already. Gold mouth, rabbit on my teeth. I got carrots. Open up her mouth and she got vocal sound like Janet. Marble on the floors, but the kitchen kind of granted. Lean color perk. You would think it's pomegranate. I see flying saucers from a roll another planet. It will fall in place if it's meant to be organic. I got crazy lingo. You would think I'm speaking Spanish or something like a pie. Never I got stones around my neck. Whoa. If you pay attention, I teach her how to earn respect. I walk around with a tag like I'm mad at the rail. People do any damn thing for a check. So what if you got signed labels, throw them on the shelf? No. I don't ask for hell, I just go within myself. Hard times I prevail, I bust up by myself. I let my nuts hang, cause they don't got no curfew. Uh. Go mouth, rabbit on my teeth, I got carrots. Open up a mouth, cause she got vocal sound like Janet. Marble on the floors, but the kitchen can't granite. Lean color 